Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about candles. In the video you see quite a few different types of candles. There's a pillar can candle with different colors. These are different scents. There's different candle holders. There are tiny candles that might float in water in, an, in the middle of the table for decoration. You also have a large box of unscented candles that I got on clearance about four years ago. And they're plain white unscented candles that they used for a holiday. And I found it in a clearance basket. 50 cents for 72 candles. Now you can't beat that. I know that I got more than one box of these and I shared with my family and they were amazed. Now, I think it was 2018. I did go back to the store the next day. The price had changed. It wasn't 50 cents. Somebody had mismarked it. It was $5 on clearance. So I really don't know how much these candles were to begin with. I would think $20 for that big box of 72 candles. But let's just talk about the importance of having candles on hand. Uh, unscented preferably, uh, you don't want to, in a grid down situation, have a candle that smells like you're baking chocolate chip cookies. You might have visitors of all types, and that wouldn't be a good thing. Now, candles are an economic emergency prep to have in your prepper pantry. Like in the Great Depression, we would need candles if we didn't have electricity or if we couldn't afford electricity. It's easy to imagine what that could mean to public services like electricity. If we didn't have electricity, you would need candles of some type to have light or maybe even to cook with. Even today, blackouts happen all the time. Service dis disruptions could make your light and power sources unpredictable to say the least. We know that when storms come through, the lights might go out, you have no light, it's at night. You might need candles to have some temporary light. Now most people already have some kind of preparation in place for blackouts due to different things that they've experienced in the past. Bad weather, hurricanes, it could be tornadoes that come through, it could be high winds or straight line winds that come through and disrupt power. But to really prepare for long-term crisis, you'll want to stock up on a lot more than just a few candles on hand. The decorative candles would come out, they would be used, they wouldn't just sit on the mantle and look pretty, you would be using them. This is very important because candles will provide light in a room when you don't have a light bulb. It could provide heat in some way and it could provide a source of cooking if you needed to light a fire and you had old pieces of candle. You could put that in the, the fire as a starter. There are many uses for candles. There are many types of candles. Again, I store and stockpile scented candles that I've had. It doesn't matter if they're half gone, a fourth of it's gone. I stockpile those. Some of them smell wonderful and I like to burn them in different times of the year. Some of them have no scent at all and they're plain taper candles. Some are in jars, as you see up here, without a scent and they have a, a number of hours they can burn. I do have other candles that are not pictured in this video that are plain candles in glass containers no scent, no color, just plain. These last, I got them at the Dollar Tree many, many years ago. They were getting rid of them because nobody would buy them. They were two for one, so they were 50 cents a piece. And they're perfect because they last eight hours. You can light them and they last eight hours. So you would have eight hours worth of light 
Also, the wax and the wick are far, far enough down in the holder that you will not have uh, an open flame at the top of your candle holder. Well, I do appreciate my subscribers and my new subscribers stopping by. Tell me in the comments below what candles you have on hand. Do you have candles on hand? Do you prefer the scented candles or just the plain candles? If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and pass this video along to your friends and family as a general reminder to pick up some candles, regardless if they're scented or unscented, at the store today, because as everything, these are increasing in prices every single day. I welcome you back to my channel, and I hope to see you real soon.